good morning. This meditation is to create a sacred space for yourself. A safe space where healing can be done. So this particular space, it can be a physical space and it can also be a space that you have created yourself in your mind <clears throat> for you to be able to go to any time and any place that you're at. It's good to have a physical space, um, like for instance, this room that I have, it's a sacred space. It is, it is, its biggest objective is for healing um, and that is what happens in this space. Um, I do let my children in here sometimes, especially during the uh, home homeschooling, we had a little bit of time in this room, um, which is fine. So if it's a space in your home where your, your spouse or your children or whoever may actually stumble upon that room or be in that room at some point. If you feel okay with that and you still feel like it can be a healing space for you, all you need to do is maybe set some boundaries as to what's okay in that room and what's not okay. So for instance, things like remove your shoes before you enter um, or it, you must be quiet when you're in there. And those kind of things can help it to stay your sacred space, okay? So it's good to have a physical space if possible. However, sometimes that's not always possible for us. And the other reason that we create a space within ourselves is because you might be at work when you feel a challenge or a trigger coming that you need to sit in that space, okay? You could be anywhere that you, it's good to have this space within you so that you can start to really feel at home with you um, and know that it's always there. So it's always been one of the first things um, I was ever taught is creating this space for yourself. So it's a bit like when we talk about grounding and protecting ourselves, which is very important. So the grounding is all about our connection um, and the protection, protection part, we usually call upon our guides, uh, spirit guides to come and place that protection around us. But sometimes we need a little bit more so we, we can just create this space that can either be an outdoor space or an indoor space and we have to design it ourselves so we can start to visualize, well, okay, there's a lamp over there or there's some incense burning over there. Or if it's outside, you know, there's some tall conifer trees growing there or there's a yew tree there. And we can have all sorts of different things in there and all of it reflects ourselves. It reflects who we are and what we like. Okay, so first of all, don't worry too much about the physical space for now. You can, you can think about that in your own time um, when you go home. Think about a space that you can make your own, where you're lo less likely to be disturbed, where you can shut a door. Um, or an outdoor space, maybe in the woods or something, where you know nobody else really goes. I love doing that. Just go and find something for you. So what we're going to do now is create the inner space that you can go to. Okay, so... For the inner space, I want you to ask yourself, what do you want to achieve with it? How do you want it to feel? Do you want it to feel like a fortress? Sort of like something really solid, really um, contained? Or do you want to feel more comforted? Do you want it to be more like, you know, a, a living room with a fire going and a nice rug or something? Um, natural so for instance uh, for me personally a lot of my spaces uh, tend to be nature spaces tend to have grass um, plants trees things like that um, or it might be like a cozy space like a cozy cottage in the middle of a wood or something like that that you want to go to whatever resonates with you whatever when you say it to yourself you really feel it here and it feels good and it feels like it's you okay and the other thing we want to do is maybe give it a name. So when we give something a name, we can really try to identify with it then, can't we? So if we place a name on it, what would it be? Cozy Cottage or um, My Healing Sanctuary? Anything like that. Haven is sometimes quite a nice word that people like to use. Whatever name you can give it so that when you of feeling a certain way, you can call upon that name and think to yourself, right, I'm going to my, my healing haven or, or whatever you want it to be. Okay, so just take a moment just to think about what 
the name might be for your space. Don't worry if nothing's coming to you at the moment, you can always think about that after. Just take a few deep breaths for now. Just inhale and exhale. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And just start to relax. Just let your shoulders relax. Let your jaw relax. You might want to lie down or sit, whatever feels best for you. So I'm going to run through a series of questions now for you, just to help you to create this space for yourself. Okay, so imagine now you're just sat in a space that is white, it's just completely white, there's nothing there, nothing, just yourself. <clears throat> And just begin to allow your mind to create now, whether this space is indoors or outdoors. What resonates with you most? Do you feel safer being within some walls? Or do you feel calmer and safer being outdoors? And once you know that, you can then start creating what's there. So if for instance it's indoors, does it have a fireplace for instance? Are there some comfortable sofas? Do you have any drapes or curtains? Things where you can cover up the windows to make it completely your space. Where people won't disturb you. And if it's outside, do you have trees around? Is there a gate to get in and out? Is there a stream? <clears throat> and if it's indoors, you might want to think about the colours um, of what you've got in there. Is it warm oranges and reds? Or is it more yellows and blues? purple or green and if it's outside is it more na natural colours is it more greens browns yellow orange if it's this sort of time of year what is around there are there crystals scattered everywhere So just thinking now, how would this space look to a part of you that feels traumatised, upset or vulnerable? When you're in that space, what would you like to be sat in? What needs to be in that space to bring you comfort and calm? So really try and get in your mind now a picture of this space, of what it looks like, and when you're stood in it, what it feels like. It might even be that it's, it's a huge tree and underneath it you're sat there. So is it dark? Is it light? What can you smell? Can you smell earthy smells? Or can you smell fragrances? Can you smell pollen? And if your space is a space that is an indoor space, do you recognise this place? Is it somewhere that you perhaps went when you were a child? Does this room or space 
that you're trying to create something else but your mind keeps being drawn back to a certain place that you've been to before, that you've felt comforted in before. So really just take a moment now to visualise this space. And I want you to try and visualise it the same each time you come. So you might want to pick colours that you know you're going to resonate with each time you come. See things in there that you know are always going to be there so that it does feel safe. So that when you enter there you always know what to expect and what you're going to see. So you want to make sure that you've got things in there that allow you to feel, I am secure. Or that creates the feeling of healing, comfort. You might want to add things in there as well, if you're quite a spiritual person anyway which I imagine you are if you're watching this. It might You might want to have particular crystals around that resonate with you. Or maybe a wand. You might want things in there that allow you to work with healing streams of energy. So maybe mirrors might be something to have in there as well. So hopefully by this point you've got an idea in your head of what that space looks like. And now comes the fun bit. You're going to explore that space. So from here, I want you to just close your eyes if you haven't already. Drop into that space. So there's no path that you need to walk along to get there. You, you can just drop straight into that space because now you can visualise it. You know what it looks like. You know what it feels like. So take yourself to that space. And remember, like we've said, it might not be something you've created yourself. It might actually be a room that you know from your grandparents or from your parents or whoever, somewhere that you've always known. So just spend a little bit of time now exploring that space. And I want you to just stand in that space right now. And in your own way, I want you to call upon a guardian, a guardian that will protect you in this space. This may be a spirit guide that you already know, or it may be an animal, like a dog or a cat or a goose. Something that makes you feel protected or someone that can give you the sense and feeling that you are secure in this space. You are held in this space. And the gatekeeper, the guide, the guard rather, is just there to just make sure that in this space, even if your vibrations are really, really, really low, you're not gonna get anything that's gonna attach to you. So that is the purpose of this. So really try and visualise what that is and try and stick with it. Try not to keep changing what it is because that makes it shakeable and not trusted. So see that guard now. See that gatekeeper. Clear as anything. Just stood at the entrance to your sacred space, to your healing space.
And now you can ask your guard and you can also ask your spirit guides and anything else that usually draws close to you through healing. I want you to ask them to place streams of energy all around this space now. And you can actually visualize that. You could visualize it as a white spiral, spiraling up and down all around that space. So the intention is part of the visualization here. So I want you to really try and visualize that now. Just healing streams of energy, spiraling up and down all around this space. If you want to, you can ask for that to be placed all around your space as well. So as if you are a spiral within a spiral or a circle within a circle. So this space resonates with the very best version of yourself. It is a place that is an inner shelter where when you are up against challenges, when you are finding triggers within your life, or when you're just not really feeling in a great space, I invite you to bring yourself to this place now, this inner healing sanctuary that you have just designed. Bring yourself there. And we can work with that space and do a lot more through meditation, through journeying, within that space. There is so much that you can do with it. But by creating it in the first place, it's bringing that into you. You can actually see it now. That inner shelter. And within it, you can work with younger versions of yourself. You can work with adult versions of yourself. You can even work with future versions of yourself. You can work with ancestors in this space. So I invite you now to just have a little play in this space. Get to know it. So for the wounded parts of yourself, does it feel good in here? Does it feel okay to be here? Does it feel exciting to go here? And over time, as you get used to this space, you can make changes. I'll give you an example of a space I created, which was more like a garden. And at the very beginning of my journey, I planted some seeds within that space. And I made myself go back, water them, nurture them, tend to them. And it's amazing what can grow from that, what you can see. But even if it's an indoor space, you can have plants growing in there that you can plant a seed. You might have a kitchen in there where you make a particular form of ingredients together to create something. There's a lot we can do with the healing space within ourselves. To help guide us through challenges and things that we have going on in our lives today. So if you would like to explore this more, then please do get in touch. I can do a whole series of um, meditations based around this that can help you in your everyday life. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Blessed be.